Howdy. Wyo, Russ here. And Chris. What else is it? Fuzzy. All right, thank you. We got a package from Japan, Japanese junk food. So we're trying Japanese junk food. I don't know if that means there's little dead seahorses and dead fish and crabs or whatever it is. I know Japanese tend to like more fishy flavors, at least in some of the things I've tried. It's supposed to be actually geared towards kids too. So this is oh, maybe Japanese sweet. kids food. Okay. So it's probably gonna be a mix of a whole bunch of stuff, junk food. I think I saw like those candy cigarettes, I think. And we both saved their appetite. We're both kind of like drained right now. Yeah. So this is like an energy boost. So we may like this crap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we actually wanted to like kind of drain ourselves, so we actually like really tried this and appreciated it with a empty stomach. There's a lot of it. Oh my yeah. god. So this was on Amazon for twenty dollars, I believe, something like that. <laughs> There's so much. Holy crap. That is too funny. So is there anything, in, is it all Japanese? Uh, it looks Japanese Only, to me. yeah, there's no English. On, we don't have a clue what we're eating. That's okay. So we won't tell you what we're eating just cause we don't know. <laughs> but we'll show you. So how we're gonna do this is I'm gonna grab one and you're gonna grab one. Okay. If, unless you wanna go first. You wanna go first? No, you go first, I don't care. Did they leave any junk food in Japan? <laughs> So, holy crap, there's so much stuff. There's so much. So what's that? It looks like, oh, obviously, jerky. I've got a bowl down here. I may have to spit some stuff out. Pencil calpus? Pencil calpus. No English, so we don't know what a pencil calpus is, but you can show them what a pencil calpus is. I think it's is. beef, I'm not sure. But most jerkies have MSG in them. Maybe it's just strawberry or something. It kind of is pink, and it's definitely meat. It smells like, it smells like, um, <laughs> I actually like it. <laughs> it's neat. It's dried meat. <laughs> I like it. I'm trying it. to think of what it smells like. Actually, I don't like it. Never mind. Like buying a sausage, kind of. Oh, okay. I better not eat much of it, though. I want to bite of your sausage. Mm. I'm going to actually bite it, too. Is that okay? It doesn't look like my sausage. I know. Yours is it's a lot not, smaller. Not, <laughs> not you. This is not my sausage. <laughs> it's good. You should put more girth in yours. Which... I'm just kidding. This is nice. It's not amazing to me though, man. No, I mean, it doesn't taste super flavorful or anything. If I had known for sure that didn't have a lot of MSG in it, you eat the crap I'd out. eat the whole up. Yeah, I'd eat that. This is actually a tricky challenge because he is sensitive to MSG, which is in like all American foods almost. So Japanese were the ones who invented MSG, so I'm sure it's in this stuff too. So I may be like having a massive migraine tomorrow. Hopefully not. I hope Cross not. your fingers. Oh, I like no. So thank you for doing this. He's actually taking a risk for me. And sorry we haven't done a video, by the way. I just want to, we are late. Um, we've been super, super busy with my family coming to town and all sorts of stuff. Yeah. So you don't want the list. Your turn. All right. I'm just going to reach down and grab. Show the camera every time. Okay. Though, and make sure it focuses. Okay. Is that focused? Yep. Okay. They're little strawberry nugget looking things. It looks like probably. I bet it's strawberry yogurt carburetor. That's what it looks like. It looks kind of like gum to me. It nerds. It kind of looks like a nerd. No, it looks like a tooth. It looks like a tooth, man. It's strawberry yogurt covered nougat. That's pretty good. I don't know if I should eat it, but I'm going to. Not bad. Mm hmm. No problem. So this has candy. This is definitely considered. You can candy. wipe these out. I don't want to wipe all of them out because we have so much stuff. I don't really like them that much. I know exactly why you like them. Because they have a malt inside. Which he's sensitive to malt, so. Uh oh. Don't eat any malt. Oh, you're right. Okay. He loves like malted milk balls and it gives him a headache because malt has. It has free glutamate, which is MSG. These look like uh, like curry french fries. I should have gone to the web to like see if I could find a symbol for MSG in Japanese so I could at least compare it and look. I like curry, so we'll see. Styrofoam. Curry, styrofoam curry. It's all right. It's not that bad. It's not bad. It's not amazing. I wouldn't eat like the crap out of these things. Maybe I would, I don't know. Oh yeah, I would. You would? Oh yeah. You know what it tastes like? Start from a curry on it. Like ramen noodle powder. Ooh, that'd be bad for me. Doesn't it taste like ramen noodle powder? Now that you say it. It's been like 15 years since I've eaten any ramen noodles. Cause they give me headaches. So, maybe you're right. I couldn't tell you anymore. I wouldn't eat any more of those. But well, I will finish all these so we won't be wasteful. I'm gonna get something that looks... Ooh, Coca-Cola. Mini Coke, mini cola. 
Turn it so they can actually read it though. Right there. I wonder if this is gonna be gum or candy. Can I? Yeah, you get it. If I had my Leatherman, I could open it. There, Chris. I've tasted candy that tastes like that before. Mmm, I like these. These mm -hmm. are my favorite. Mmm, they're good. So far, three out of three. They're yeah. pretty good. Or four. We tried four things. The Japanese know how to make their candy. Okay, what is that? Okay, this looks like a fruit juice thing. It's like a fruit juice. It'd be nice if we could tell you what we're actually oh, eating. Oh, this one has an American name. No, it doesn't. Oh, that's not Konyaku. <laughs> Konyaku jelly for me. That's, a, that's a, an American thing because they use symbols, Chris. They I don't know anything don't about use... Japanese words. Other than I can't they read it. symbols, man. They don't... If you speak Japanese, tell us if a konyaku is... <laughs> what this is. What, what konyaku is. What? See the word? It's jello. It's jello. Konyaku goo. This a gelatin. Not a whole lot of flavor. I've never had jello that wasn't like fresh. No. Does that make sense? I know I'm not supposed to eat gelatin, so... I'm ditching that. It just didn't have much flavor. This is gonna be a really long video, and that's okay. Cause we'll just pick out the ones that you want to do. I, I want to make it long. You do? This is, I mean, this is just so like... We, yeah, we, we spent the money on the bag, yeah. so we might as well go through all <laughs> Yeah. Everything looks like gum to me. This, yeah, this is like... The whole world in Japan is made out of gum. That's what you're thinking? Pills. Pills. What color did you get? Oh, it's... Hmm. It's, it's chocolate. chocolate. I can smell it. It's chocolate. It and we know we can eat us some chocolate. I'm gonna munch the F out of these. They're kind of like M&M &M balls. And so they don't have an M on it, and they're not flattened out. Mmm. So like, these are my favorite so far. Well, they're chocolate. I mean, who can go wrong with chocolate? Okay, so this whole video, I'm gonna try to not say the word F. Fuck. Okay. After that one. You just did it. I get to say that one. Oh, I took a lot. Here you take some. So uh, this whole video, I'm not gonna use the word F, you know. And if I do, just call me out on it. I just want to <laughs> see if I can. Not not for any particular reason, just... You forget you're not on the oil rig. Uh-huh. Of course I do that too. I've never been on an oil rig. But it rubs <laughs> off. Yeah. Me. I know, you say it all the time. But it rubs off. Dude, it's a potty mouth. Dude, this is fun. This is like seriously one of my favorite things. Who doesn't like candy? And it's just, it's all new. Like every single oh. thing that we're getting is completely new. And it looks like they're doing something in a pot, like they're stirring it. It's white in there. Maybe it's something coconut. I don't know. Cool. That's... There's a little samurai bear on the back. I'm ready to munch the F out. You can't even use that. Oh, you sorry, sorry. But I still corrected, so that was the first time. So I bet these are going to taste like those other styrofoam things. They're just not sticks. They're little chunks. That's going to be my... They're probably rice thingies. No, these are better. Mmm. These are really good. Those taste fried. Mm. Those are good. Yeah, these are really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a I peanut ate. in there. Huh. You ate the peanut? Mm-hmm. Oh, so I like peanut. I grabbed that, baby. That, there's only Is there one, not one peanut? You meanie, you didn't even save me half. Are you sure? I got the only peanut in the whole dang bag. Here. Now you eat the rest of it. I got the nut. Those are good. Yeah, whatever we just ate, we'll go for those. Oh, you know what those are gonna be? Yeah, candy cigarettes. Yeah. They're gonna be mint flavored, I think. Mint? Isn't that what they used to be? Mm -hmm. like mint they were just like candy cigarette flavor. I thought they had like a mint. Maybe not. Do they still make candy cigarettes in the USA? I think so, yes. Really? They do, yeah, it's certain Cause candy. I mean like, that's kind of still promoting the smoking thingy. They're broken. Doesn't it taste like mint to you? Not really, man. <laughs> I'm gonna blow smoke ring. <laughs> <laughs> they don't taste like American candy cigarettes did when I was a kid. They're all right. They're kind of chalky. They're only something you'd get if you wanted to pretend like you were smoking. Kids get them because they see their parents smoke, or they see someone smoke. They're yep. fun, and I, I still I had so much fun <laughs> as a kid with these things, or the American version. I think there's I think you're right. There's a little bit of a mint kind of flavor in there. Yeah, just like the American ones. I don't remember the place like mint in America. So these just look like little 
cutie elephant. They look like they're gonna be like oyster crackers or something. But maybe they're gonna be sweet. We'll see. Can I guess? Those look like, oh yeah, they're crackers again. They look like something you put in soup. Can I go eat a baby cracker? I think they're gonna be sweet. Really? I think they're gonna be like soup, not sweet. I was right. Mmm, they melt in your mouth. And not in your hand. They taste like, what are those cookies that you can get? Wafers, vanilla wafers? Mm -mm. They taste different than any little cracker thingy I've had in the US. It's sweet, but it's like it's got chalky kind of texture to it. And super sweet, like, I wonder if it's real sugar even. Cool. That looks like popped rice. I've never had pop popped rice before. If this is popped rice. I've never pop popped rice. What is that? Like puff rice cereal, I bet, but maybe this will be sweet because it's like shown to be like a cone. See, that's what puff rice looks like. I, mm. think it's, I think it's rice. Yeah, it tastes like cereal for sure. That rice cereal tastes just like it to me. Mm hmm. It's puff rice. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> yeah. Pour it in my mouth. Don't let it go down your lungs. Mm. Mm. There's so much more to try. I'm gonna be full. They look like those little noodles that you stick on the salad. How do I get that in focus? Is that focus? Do we guess they're gonna be sweet or non-sweet? I think they're gonna be not sweet. I'm gonna say sweet. Because most everything we try has been kind of sweet. Mm-mm. They look good. I want them. Yeah, they look salty. Mm. They smell good. They smell really good. Mm-hmm. I like them too much. They probably got MSG in them. They have the most addicting property. Does that mm. make sense? Like a uh, potato chip, which like is kind of scary. MSG, right? Because there's something about them. Like you try one and you're like, whoa, and you like, start getting like this sensation all over your body. Ooh, mommy. Ooh, mommy. I like these, mommy. <laughs> mm. Yeah. This they, broke the mouth. I bet. I bet these. Yeah. I like these guys. Tell me they don't have MSG in them. Or hidden MSG. Excuse me. You're belching on camera. Uh, I didn't, yeah. Belching on camera. This is what I pick next. I don't know what it is, but it looks it's crunchy. I bet they're gonna be little wafers. Little wafers of some sort. No, oh, it's a big stick. <laughs> well, it's different than I expected. Wait, wait, what's it? Let's, it smells like nachos. Mayonnaise. It's definitely ricey, crispy thingy. Mmm. Well, I and it's, ho it's hollow. Can you see that? It's got a hole in it. Ooh. You know what that looks like. I love the texture. I do not like the flavor. It tastes like fish or something. I'm not going to ramp it out. Ooh, it's fishy. Mm -hmm. I don't mind it. Ew. It's like a shrimp stick. I don't want sh flavored freaking shrimp. See, I would, I would, I would eat that. I bet Ew. you anything there's MSG in that. Ew. This looks like a cheese stick, maybe. Look at water. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. That just overpowers everything. What do you taste now? That. Fish. I don't think it's fish. I think it's shrimp. <coughs> Boy, we have mint. Yeah, it's, we have it's, mint. that was surprising. But it's entertaining my tongue. They're little sticks. In a little pack. Like little straws. Uh, I say not sweet. What do you say? Not sweet. Not sweet. Sweet. They're slightly sweet. Mm -hmm. These are good. No. Yeah. Mm. Animal cracker. They're not as hard as animal crackers. Oh, okay. We haven't good. been rating them. I give those honestly a seven out of ten. Let's say five. Oh my gosh, I'm not excited what is about that? this. Oh no, that it looks fishy. Well, no, no, it's a, some kind of piece of fruit. I don't know if it's banana or what that is. If it's fruit, that's okay. I don't want to like a piece of fish. It looks kind of like a fruit roll up. I don't like it. But you, we already know it. You don't. You can't taste stuff as well as me. It's salty leather kind of thingy. I don't like it. I could eat it. it. Tastes like teriyaki and fish. I could totally eat it. I just don't think I should. So you're it was salty. Sucks. I like salt. Dear it's one of what? Your cooking sucks. My cooking does not suck. Yes, you does. apologize on film. Because <laughs> <laughs> my cooking does not suck. I won't apologize. My cooking is good. Yeah, to you, because you can't taste it. No, you know damn well my cooking is good. Don't you strike me where it hurts. All right, I get to pick one. Just kidding, his cooking is good. You would not be able to eat those in the US. Season balls, no. So here, there's no way that- There's don't... no way I would eat something that looked like that if I knew it was made in the US. And since MSG is from Japan, I bet you anything I 
What actually happens to him when he eats MSG? He gets headaches and his stomach gets upset. He'll get like pains in his neck, like pressures. That makes my neck hurt. Pickle flavored. I like those. <laughs> Pickle flavored puffs. But why does everything have like a fishy aftertaste? It's got the texture of a Cheeto. Cheese, cheese, cheese curl. Cheese curl. Cheese puff. Yeah. I rate this about a five. Mm. This little thing looks good. I don't know what it is. It's, it's all gooey. Stuck. It's definitely a marshmallow like a kind peep. of thingy. It's like a melted peat. Oh, with oh, chocolate. There's chocolate on the inside of it. It looks almost like a mushroom puffball thingy. I've had stuff like that in the US, just like that. Really? Anything with marshmallow and chocolate tastes exactly like that. It's marshmallow and chocolate. Mm -hmm. I'd give it about a five again. No, yeah. I'm not a big marshmallow person. Your turn. Turn. I'm gonna go for it. Cause it's my turn. Yep. Drummer kids, rip it good. It's different than the other one, is it? It's all right. It's all right. I think I like the other one a little bit better. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, so this is not sweet. Not sweet. It looks like just um, crackers that you would have in soup. Ritz cracker. Ritz thing. cracker. Let's see if it tastes like a Ritz cracker. Yeah, it looks just like a Ritz cracker. But I can tell you my tongue is dancing. There's been things happening. On a scale of one to 10, seven. Yeah, they're good. They're good. Seven. I mean, I stick those in soup. I eat them, period. And I'm eating these and I keep eating. <laughs> Where are those? Well, maybe they're supposed to be like little eggs. Awesome. Oh, it's different than I expected. Yeah, they're lined up. It smells really good. Yeah. Oh man. Three in a container. That smells awesome. Oh, what does that smell like? It smells so good. Is it lemon? This is it's bringing back like a flash of my childhood, but in a woodworking shop. A lemon drop. It's shaped kind of like a lemon. Yeah, but have you smelled any food in the US that smells like this? A lemon drop. Hmm. Like a little pine. Mmm. It's sour. Okay, this is like sour pine saw. That's what it is. Eating like pine it. saw cleaner. I don't agree with you. It is, and it has the funkiest texture. It is like a real weird texture. Oh yeah, so it got a lot of flavor. It's like pine saw. Yeah, like I kind of choked on it because it's so sticky. Is it gum? Is it gum? I don't know. <laughs> He's still chewing. It may be gum. Is that why I like almost choked on it? Because I like tried to swallow half and I thought it would like break apart on my mouth and it like made a string in my throat. Let me see. I think it's gum. It's gum. I just swallowed it's it. It's pine saw gum. But it's really like, it's really loose. I just swallowed a whole piece of that. I can't believe gum. I didn't know that was gum. I'm going. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going. That, I was like, why is this so stretchy? That's gum. So I tried to swallow a piece of this and it did this down my throat. And I was like, why am I choking on it's this? It's a good thing we didn't have to rush you to emergency. No shit. We have this much left. It's <laughs> so much. Ew. Fishy. No, let me think. Yes, Chris. That's Where's your fishy. nose been? Everything smells fishy to you. Okay, somebody that knows Japanese and Japanese food, tell us if this is supposed to be fishy. Yes, it's fishy. That is fishy. No, no. What does it taste like? It's not fish. Shrimp? Crab? Is it supposed to be like flavored with fish too? I think it's just artificially gross <laughs> flavor things. At first I thought they were nerds. Make sure to show them. Grape something. Whether it's gum or whether it's just little hard candies or what it is. I hope it's hard candies. It looks like Skittles kind of. Yeah, they look kind of like bird eggs in a way. They're, they've got a little beady texture. Good it gum? It's gum. Great gum. That's good. I give that. For flavor, eight out of ten. It tastes pretty grapey. Not even fake grape, but like real grape flavor. Mm -hmm. That score is pretty high. They have an interesting gum. Let's see if they blow bubbles. Not good bubble gum. I wonder if the other gum would have been better. We didn't try it. I forgot to try it. Don't spit on it. I'll try it. No. It's already been spit on. <laughs> what? But three pieces, you can blow a big one. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds gross to me. I'm gonna be then don't do it. Ooh. <laughs> now I'll chew this one. 
That's pretty good. They look like fish, fish bladders. <laughs> okay, they look like fish bladder. Here. Little fruit candies of some sort. In a fruit bowl? Looks like it's all edible, isn't it? Oh, the bowl might be edible too. Yeah, it is. That's super cool. And there's a toothpick? What are we supposed what? to do with this? A toothpick? It, it must oh. be a spoon. No, no, it's like you pick up the little individual things out of the bowl. So is this how we do it? Yep. That's the yellow one. Kind of tastes like a mica knife. A what? Mica knife. Mica knife? I have it. Mica knife. I don't like an ice cream cone bowl in it. Like one of those artificial ones. No flavor. Basically styrofoam. Rice and cardboard. What would you rate these? Three. Is this another fish shrimp? I don't bone? know. Show them. Maybe it's like cat chow flavor. Okay, I hated these. Puff, puffed rice, hollow tube things. I hated these. There you go. It's like a shrimp flavored Cheeto. Mm, this is a cheese flavor. Cheeto. That's better. That's pretty good. That's better. <laughs> Yeah, I like it. I better not eat it. I like that. I like this one. I could eat the you know what out of that. So this one, what would you rate for flavor? Seven? Oh no, that's pretty good. Nine. Are you kidding? I like it. I want to eat more of it, but I, I know, know if, I better not. I don't know if I'd rate anything the nine. Well, I'd eat that. I also tell that my stomach's like, Dylan, give me real food. <laughs> this shit is junk. These straight up look like Smarties, not the package. Oh. It Kippy Ramoon or Ramoony or something like that. They look like Smarties. Tastes just like Smarties or close. These are the Japanese form of Smarties. Oh, but they're, they've got a different texture. They're softer, light and airy Smartie. What would you rate these? They're kind of fizzy mm. a little bit. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They do fizz. Yeah. I think I guess five or six. six. I just. Six. I guess they just like junk food. We're almost ready, we're almost done. And they have the little toothpick thing again. So I bet this tastes just like those pink things in the little fruit bowl. I don't eat junk food like this very often. Mm -mm. It's bad for my six pack. All right, y'all. I should have given you more than one. A whole lot of packaging for not a whole lot of reason. So this is the last one. Can you see it? Takaoka. I mean, obviously. It's, I think These are chocolates. So chocolate yogurt nuggets or something. Oh. Yeah, I don't like them either. I don't care for those. Oh well, we ended on the bad one. So let's pick our favorite three things. I'd say those. So I'd eat these. I'd eat these and, and these. these. To be quite honest, anything that's puffy and crunchy, I just like the texture of it. So any of those puffy, crunchy things, I would eat if I weren't scared of them. If I was a little kid, there's no question this is what I'd get at the store. Because I used good. to do it. I like the hollow Cheeto thing. The Cheeto is good. Hollow Cheeto sticks. Okay, here's the last one. You can eat the rest of the puff. Okay, I'm not feeling like I want any more junk food. No, I need some real food. I think Japanese snack foods are, I mean, they taste okay. Again, I'm likely to be sorry. What was? What did we say was just we really didn't like? We didn't, didn't, didn't like the chocolate thing, the last chocolatey thing. You know, I didn't like the fish flavored Cheeto looking thing. Oh, okay. What? So probably one of the worst things we had was this thing, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I think that might be a strip of banana with that soya flavoring or something. I don't know. I don't think it's stinky enough to be durian fruit. Chris, it smells like fish. But if you are Japanese, tell us what this was that we ate, please. Mystery strip. I mean, there's nothing that I could force myself to eat in the bag. I just wouldn't care to eat those chocolate things that don't really taste chocolatey. This is coming from a guy that liked canned dog food flavored jelly beans and skunk flavored. Who? You. At first you did not mind it. You're like, mm, this isn't so bad. I'm like, it's skunk flavored jelly bean. Yeah. And you like this? So his point of view does not count. <laughs> you are discrediting Even me. the vomit, even the vomit. You're like, oh, I didn't like the vomit one. You didn't mind it. I didn't like it. But you didn't mind it. You're like, I this didn't isn't mind that it. Bad. It means you don't freaking taste. 
Uh, 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 you weren't gonna do that. Uh, uh, hey, you didn't I, make it through the video without using- I said freaking. Well, it's just a substitute for the other. Like this video so we can do more tasting videos. Yeah, if you've done uh, a tasting challenge and have found some things that are really cool to try, let us know. We'd love to try it. <laughs> so make sure to subscribe to IRS. And of course, Chris is there too, but I'm subscribe to Wire Us. All right. Uh, Wire Us. And Chris. Love you, Love long, you long time. time. Oh. Chris, the oh. <laughs> You spilled some water. Move. We made a mess. I spilled my water. So you can see our mess. And chewed food. Chewed food.